The pigs have been here a week now. They take a lot of looking after, but the kids are really rising to the challenge. Our duties. Who's going to clean up the poo? Me! OK. There you go. <laughs> oh, look, Jack, come here. Look at his little ear, look. She's cut quite badly on her ear. See the top of her ear? What they're doing is they're catching the clip on the fence. So when she's scratching her ears, that clip on the back of her ear is pulling. So it's bleeding. Hello, Kevin. Hi, Gordon. Hello, so I called in Christine and Kevin to get some advice. The breeders who I bought the pigs from last week. Good to see you. We bought you a little prezzi for them. Thank you. What is it? It's a bit of a tree trunk. This hollow tree stump should satisfy the pig's natural desire for a good old scratch. Oh, oh. Oh. Daddy. Two seconds. Oh. Two seconds. I want to talk to Christine about. There he is. Look, because see the blood where they've been catching? If we don't clean it up, it's going to get infected. Really? So you've done a really good job in spotting that. So we just clean it up with some cotton wool, really? some warm, salty oh. water, which will make them squeal, but yeah. at least it will have the uh, yeah. antiseptic effect. Okay. And these little piggies squealed all the way home. It may sound harsh, but it really is in the pig's best interests. They definitely won't bite, no? No, no, no. <laughs> pigs squeal. I mean, they squeal as if they're being murdered, and they fight. I mean, they don't want to be turned upside down on their bottom, so um, even though it's, it's not actually that much of a discomfort for them, uh, they don't want to be there. Cool, they don't like their ears being cleaned, do they? I think we should give them a little treat now with an apple or something, don't you? Come on, Jack, feed them nicely, one each. The pigs certainly let you know when they're in any discomfort, so I'm going to make sure these girls live a life of luxury.